Alright you guys, in this video we're going to be configuring a wireless gamepad for our PC. Now you can use these on Android systems as well, but we're going to be configuring it on a Windows 10 operating system here. So what we need to do here is plug in our wireless receiver, and uh, this comes with the actual uh, wireless gamepad. So just uh, plug that into your USB port here, any one of them do, uh, USB 3.0 or 2.0. There we go, once we've got that plugged in you should hear a beeping sound of it being recognised. And then what you can do here is take a look at your controller and turn it on. Now if it's already solid with one light it means it's recognised it and it's already ready to go. If it hasn't then it will start flashing until the light goes solid and then that will mean that it has recognised your controller. So just give it a bit of time. Okay so we have our receiver plugged into our USB port and we have our wireless gamepad uh, turned on and fully charged and what we need to do now is go to Windows over to the search box here and type control panel now if you're looking at the category window here uh, what you want to do is you can go to view via, uh, devices and printers here if you want to or you can go into large icons and click it here now this is what you should be looking at here where you should see your Xbox 360 controller for Windows. Now these um, wireless gamepads will be detected as an Xbox 360 controller and they are a fraction of the price of the original Xbox 360 controllers. So if you have one of them lying around you can use one of those uh, but these are pretty cheap and uh, they're pretty affordable. Now you can right click on here and uh, right click on this and go to game uh, controller settings here now if you have any issues of it being detected you can also use the troubleshoot here I'm going to go inside the game control settings uh, window and uh, inside here you're going to have two buttons down here and uh, this one's advanced this is just so you can select your preferred controller if you have more than one and we're going to go to properties here and uh, if you look at my controller it's not moving at the moment because I haven't turned it on so I need to turn it on and you should now see the controller axis uh, and Y axis here moving around and you can also see if I push the buttons uh, and also the other controller here moving about and if you see those uh, working then you should be pretty much good to go now you can also see your buttons being selected here if you look down the bottom here where your buttons you should see and be in those registered and uh, they should be working uh, correctly if they're not you can go into uh, your settings here and you can also reset to default and you also got your calibrate now your calibrate will help you calibrate your gamepad now mine is already calibrated by default it started working so I don't need to do this but if you do then you can go through this process here and find uh, the center point and it will go through uh, the motions of calibrating your gamepad okay so all you need to do here is find the center part of that if you want it to be more accurate you can do here so that is the center point right there and you would then go on to the next phase okay and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can get your wireless control pad working on a Windows 10 operating system and then you can play all those games uh, that you wanted to play whether it be retro games whether it be those uh, Steam games that you want to play you can play all those games I'll quickly show you uh, a game which you can uh, play on here on Steam which is a uh, Dirt Rally so let me just go ahead and show you it in action so this is Dirt Rally and uh I'll show you how you can play this on Steam and I'm using the gamepad here so all I need to do is just uh, use my throttle and start driving the actual car and as you can see works perfectly fine no problems at all steering's good all the buttons work and that's pretty much it that's basically how you can play all your games on a PC with a gamepad if you whether it be an Xbox 360 gamepad PlayStation gamepad or one of those uh, ones that I showed you there you can use any of those and configure them the way you want to by using the methods that I showed you. 
Now, if you've got any video requests or ideas for videos, then let me know in the comments section below. I do read all the comments. I might not respond to them all, but I try my best to uh, read all your comments. And uh, I do appreciate people that take the time to leave a comment and uh, thumb the videos up. Anyway, my name is Brian from BrightechComputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.